Yo YouTube, it's Tavan and American. I'm gonna be testing and reviewing the Bear Dynamic MMX 300 Pro Gaming headset on my PlayStation 5, giving you the pros, the cons, and a conclusion at the end. So let's get started. What it comes with is an audio splitter and adapter for your console and PC, and the manual. They went with an oval style on the ear pads with velvet material, leather coating around the headband that's detachable with button clips. The lining and handles are pretty much metal holding everything together. Adjustment guards are very sturdy and clamp force is pretty firm when you put it on the head. I wouldn't say the flexibility is the best, but we'll get to that later on in the video. The aux cable provided has a mute switch and volume wheel giving you manual audio controls from the rip. I'm gonna jump on the MMX 300 Pro mic and talk about the pros and the cons. Right, I'm on the MMX 300 mic. Let's start talking about the cons, pros, then work our way with a verdict. Going back to the flexibility, it is on the flimsy side when you twist the headset side to side like there's something loose. And sometimes you hear a painful sound depending on how you put them on. Like, I'm like, whew, it, it does sound cringe. And I just don't see the plastic hinges maintaining within several hours of heavy use. Out of the box, plugging this into my PlayStation 5 controller, it's a little bit on the quiet side when you crank the volume up to 100%. Don't get me wrong. It's loud enough in performance, but I've had multiple analog headsets in the past that are loud to the core. Even the MMX 100 I reviewed were loud, even when the volume was around 80%. Anything louder than that, depending on the game, would have blown my head clean off. But it's not the case with the MMX 300 Pros, and it's a little bit on the quiet side. This is 2024. Why are we still using mics that can't be detached? What if gamers want to take these outside for versatility purposes? I don't know if it helps improve the mic quality. I don't know. It's just strange for a high-end headset not evolving with these type of features. But let me flip it to the pros and say the mic is immaculate. But I'm going to let you guys be the judge. The sound quality on these are just top notch for FPS, MMO and RPG gaming. The bass, the treble on these are slightly visible but very clean and crisp. The audio cues are solid and the range of sound is just impressive. Like for it to be an out of the box audio experience, this is good for competitive gaming man. You can get the drop on suspects no problem with these. On the immersive side of things, it will do the job. As I've stated, the bass is slightly visible, but the resolution and sound is really good with the clarity of the exhaust pops, engine noises in Gran Turismo 7, the impact on punches and kicks in Tekken 8. But the MMX 100 fills those boots better in that category. It has more of an aggressive blueprint. Same goes with the music experience. It just depends on the music you listen to. If you listen to music that is vocal orientated, it's going to be an absolute blast. If you prioritize beats with 808 booms, kicks and snares, then then again, it will just do the job. The MMX 300 Pro is a good looking headset that brings a lot of potential to high level or esports players. Durability is suspect on the handles and the loudness isn't the best in some games on console. But the out of the box blueprint audio experience is impressive, man. And for the comfort, it is reasonable. It is not the most comfortable headset in the, on the planet, but it's definitely not uncomfortable. And you can play long gaming sessions, no problem with these. For the price you're paying, you've got to have that mentality of, I want to win with any means necessary. Like, I've just skipped a funeral. I've just put a bet on my whole house and my sponsors are about to drop me. I need this win. Yeah. Yeah, don't do that. It's just an analogy. 